Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. This is CK, my channel is Psychology. Today I am at an area called Sukao and this is an area called Kampong Bile. I am doing the Kinabatang River cruise. Kinabatang is the second longest river in Malaysia. I was very very late and my flight was super delayed so I have to drive two hours from the airport of Sandakan. It's about two hours drive from Sandakan Airport. So I had to drive like bad out of hell. So I didn't really enjoy um, the drive. So we'll have several cruises through this beautiful river and I'll tell you uh, more about the river later on. But I have to pack and unpack because I'm getting ready for the first cruise. Nama saya Jima, salah satu reception dari sini. Untuk hari ini aktiviti kamu bermula pada jam 3.30 petang uh, Kami akan sediakan tea break, local dessert lah Dengan sebelah sana kami ada sediakan kopi dengan tea, self-service mm. uh, Afternoon cruise jam 4 petang uh, Untuk afternoon cruise mengambil masa selama 2 jam uh, Di sini kami ada jual raincoat juga Lepas afternoon cruise kami akan sediakan dinner jam 7 malam Untuk esok pagi set alam 5.30 5.45 kami sediakan kopi dengan tea dengan chef jam 6 morning cruise. Okay. Morning cruise 1 jam. Okay. Nice room, I really liked it. It's a nice place. Look at all the other different, they have 32 lodges here. So cool. Okay, I'm all freshened up. I am ready for my tea. Kinabatangan, as I said, Kinabatangan River is the second longest river in Malaysia. 560 kilometers long. All eight species of hornbill can be found here and this is one of the only two places on earth that eight primates lived in one single area so I hope to see lots of animals and wildlife and it's also the main life source for many of the locals here I'm quite excited to see this mighty river Local. My boat is ready. Hello. Hello. So ini nama tempat Sukau. Pilit, kampung pilit. Dan Sukau itu apa leh? Sukau downstream lah. Oh, downstream Sukau. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Di Kinabatangan ada 104 kampung lah kampung. 104 kampung. 
104 kampung di sini. Yeah. 26.000 hectares of preserved land, one of the richest biodiversity in the world. Normally kalau cuaca March April, March April. Then selalu hujan ni bulan apa? Kalau normally hujan di sini selalu dia bulan 10 11 begitu. The river water level is very high now. It's really flooding a lot of the coastal area. And it's quite bumpy. It actually has its own current. That's how huge this river is. Oh, wow! It thought it would be hot, but it's actually very cooling and the whole area is like pretty much you feel like it's air conditioned. It's really, really cool actually. It's looking directly at the camera. Oh, oh. wow. Very close now. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that red beak and blue wings. Staying so still. Hi, Kingfisher. So that, if you can see, that's the row. That's how uh, uh, they built that for the orang utan so that they can cross uh, the river using that row. That's, so that's the rope. Oh, wow. My first, my first hornbill. Wow. He's staying very still there. Look at him. Oh, wow. Oh my God, we saw two hornbill. Oh. Oh, flew away already. Silver limb. Yeah. There's a silver limb monkey. He's right at the top. He's right at the top of the branch. I, I'm surprised. Oh, he's moving. I'm surprised that that branch can support his weight. But seems he seems very light, and he's really right at the top. Oh, he's moving. There you go. There you go. Here he comes. Ah. Oh. Okay. Just this guy is just lying. Oh, he's crossing. So that's that's what the rope is for to cross the the river. Oh, but he's just ah, oh, there you go. So that's <laughs> that's how they cross the um, the river. And it's oh oh wow. I think he's practicing. 
cool. I think he's just chilling up there and with this. I mean, I would if I had a view like this. On bill. Oh, dia boleh terbang sampai sampai tinggi oh. Oh, two. There's two horn bill. Wow. What? Dia mat tinggi oh. I ingat dia dia di di lantai saja. Atau di pokok pokok kecil. Uh, apa jenis ini lagi? Oriental, si flight. Or Oriental flight. Those are the Oriental flight on bill again. Second sighting. Beautiful. They are the symbol of Sarawak, but however they are here in Sabah. Gorgeous. Oh, any lighting perfect. <laughs> perfect lighting. Oh wow wow wow. There's two, there's two orang utan. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's two orang utan. This one's coming down. Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh my god! This is crazy! Uh, jantan ho. I think I think it's a male. It's a male. It's so great. Ah, oh, yeah. He's 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 had enough. Oh wow! Oh my God! It's a big one. Oh wow! Look! Look! Oh my God! He doesn't want to be filmed. And there he is. He's just going down now. Had enough of the camera. Wow, look at that. Gosh. Wow. He is real. Oh. It's, he is big. I mean, you wouldn't only see it in the camera, but he is really, really old. Oh. They, they went into hiding. Wow, that was just, that was, that was incredible. I mean, that sighting was just so incredible and this is the both male and female and oh, I mean seeing the orangutan in the wild is just takes your breath away I mean I've never expected what a day hello yang dulu itu gua dia kumpul tak ada semua oh gua kumantung Wow, this is his bird's nest. Wow, this is a 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 bird's nest. No. So this is what everyone is craving for in China, and that's why everybody is growing here. Again, very, very surprised and shocked that everyone here is doing the bird nest business. It is actually very lucrative. You just you 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 record the sound of the swallow, and then you play the sound, and the swallow knows that there are swallow in there, and then you just they will come and. Then, you pick them, you harvest them every 40 days. That's all you have to do. And of course, build a house. It's my dinner. Wow. Chicken, Chicken and, and fish. fish. Oh, oh, banyanya. Fresh. Thank you. Okay, 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 it's time for the night walk. It's going to take 45 to one minute, one hour. 45, one hour, huh? It's my first first time night walk. Oh, my first time night walk. So I'm pretty excited. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Oh 
yang nih nih saya punya touch dekat nampak oh hmm. oh hmm. look we found we found a sleeping bird hmm. so dia buat apa dia tidur ah oh, dia tidur ya my god he is just so still hmm. and he is just he's ah it's so muddy hmm. Lenten bug yeah. Kerana? Dia macam itu firefly Firefly yeah, Tapi dia, dia bukan firefly ya. Nama dia lenten bug Lenten bug Oh, so that's the elephant track Yeah And then this one, the elephant pool Oh, <laughs> they, they left this, the elephant <laughs> These are their track and it's so close to the resort Wow Ini baru ke atau berapa hari deh? Ada tiga hari Tiga hari It's been three days the tracks Malaysian blue plecature lah nama dia ni Malaysian apa? blue plecature Malaysian blue plecature dia oh. punya warna tu blue tu ya 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 wow tapi, tidak nampak dia terlalu tinggi kan ya 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 tapi hmm. okey lah dia <laughs> tak gerak tidak ya dia sleeping lah oh so <laughs> yeah. it's just a sleeping bird Eh, saya tak pernah nampak burung tidur. Sebelah daun. Tela bird. Ya, tela. Tera bird. Hi, tera bird. Good night. Oh my god, this is so disgusting smell. The smell of the skunk is super disgusting. Ah, baunya. Maybe chocolate in. Okay. So that's our night walk here. It took about 45 minutes. I enjoyed it, but I smell awful because the last leg, when it was the skunk thing, I smell so awful right now. And it's the morning. I slept surprisingly well yesterday. And I think because I was so tired of the drive, I was driving like crazily fast from Sandakan Airport to here, not to miss um, the timing. But all is well. And I think this cruise, we're gonna see sunrise over the river. Many pisang goreng. Matabak sama roti goreng. Ah, roti goreng dan. Matabak. Matabak roti goreng. Oh, matabak yeah. roti goreng. Oh. Looks very yummy. With the curry. Morning. Listening to the sound of the gibbons. <laughs> That's what they sound like. Dia panggil dia punya kawan lah macam itu. They're calling their groups.
boys and girls, I've come to the end of my trip here at Kinabatang River Cruise. I fully enjoyed the cruise. It was so eye-opening. Definitely learned a lot about nature and the trees and the plants and the, the, the wildlife that lives here. There's a lot of wildlife here. I mean, this place is teeming with life. You don't really have to go very far to see wildlife. And I saw many, many, many creatures and species and, and different plants, birds, fish that I have never seen in my entire life. It's, it's also sad that um, a lot of these habitats are destroyed, particularly palm oil plantations. You can see a lot around here. So here's a more tips that I can give you if you do the Kinabatang River cruise. Um, the best time to come is actually May and April. So May and April, the water is not so high and it, it's not like overcast like what we have today. Uh, I saw all species you can imagine, but not elephants. So elephants need the water to be a little bit lower so that they can come and um, do their stuff in the river. So May and April, I think you're most likely guaranteed to see the pygmy elephants here, which I don't have the chance to see. And um, there are jungle walks, night jungle walks activities. Bring your leech socks, bring a torchlight, which is very important because it was like pitch dark um, when you go into these jungle walks. And of course, mosquito repellent. Bring as many as you can. And also, you know, bring binocular because a lot of the times the wildlife are just like far away and the monkeys and, 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 and the apes, they're just sitting right really on top of these trees. So they are really far away. So bring binoculars or good cameras. So these are the tips that I can give you. You come here, it is just, I mean, look at this. This is just fabulous. And you're just sitting on the boat. There's no mosquito when you're on the boat. And definitely, you don't have to worry about leeches or walking. You just sit back and relax and watch this, this, this incredible show of wildlife. And my next episode, I will bring you to the city of Sandakan. And they have many wildlife sanctuaries there. I want to go to the Sun Bear Conservative Center. And of course, the world famous Sapilo Orang Utan. Okay, until my next episode. Bye from the river of Kinabatangan.